Hey, what's up? Hannes Harder here for 3dfeed.tv. You're watching the very first video tutorial about this new and revolutionary stereoscopic 3D website to be used with 3D TVs and many other 3D display devices. The whole site is based on HTML5 and WebGL. That means you need a WebGL enabled browser. Once you hit the site the first time, you'll get a little info message here to download and install Firefox for beta. So once you've done that and returned to the site with Firefox beta, you will get a second info message on how to enable WebGL in Firefox. That's actually pretty easy. Simply type in about config into the address bar, continue and then filter for WebGL and that brings up five items here and simply double click on the WebGL enabled for all sites and set it to true and then you just need to reload it using F5 and you're all set. So in this tutorial I'll give you an introduction to 3D feed featuring all kinds of stereoscopic 3D contents like 3D live streaming stereoscopic videos and photos and even interactive stereoscopic 3D scenes. So let's get started. First of all we need to select our 3D mode by clicking on the little icon over here. So by default the site is displayed in 2D and this brings up the site preferences with our little test window and the different output formats you can choose from. There are also other rare modes and um, so you can select side by side let's say for use with 3D TVs or um, even interlaced and vertical interlaced and checkerboard. Uh, for now I will use Anaglyph because that's the only way to screen capture a 3D session. So let's save our settings and there we go. The mode is saved per session unless you start to sign up and create an account then it will be saved permanently and then of course you will also have the possibility to upload content. So let's log in and then we can start with the 3D videos.